If you're looking for a way to sneak in a little bit of education with everybody thinking that they're just playing a game, this is the history trivia game. You can purchase just this one on the on its own or um, you can get the bundle pack and this bundle pack that I got came with their 80s and their 90s expansion pack. So I would highly recommend an expansion pack for something like this and I'm going to show you the inside. So I wanted to be helpful, so I thought we could go through this um, section by section on how to play. So first we shuffle the selection cards and then draw the top card from the deck and then place it on the assigned space here on the board. So here we have the selection cards, so we can just shuffle these ones and then we can draw the top card and then we can just put it right here on the selection place. Now you flip this card over and this letter represents the lettered question that you're going to read from the question cards for the duration of the entire game. So for example, if you draw a B card, we drew an A, then you're only gonna read B questions or A questions from the question cards for this game. Next, we're gonna take each of these, we're gonna shuffle each category deck, and then we're gonna deal the top card from each of these deck and put them face down on the board so that there is only one card per category available at the start of the game. The game recommends to let the youngest player go first because they're the ones that have learned the least and they can learn from everybody else. So I definitely like that. And then when it's your turn to play, then you're going to select a question card from any of these on the board. And then the player to the left of you is going to read the appropriate question. So remember here, we're on question A out loud. So you'll see here, it is lettered A through F and we're only gonna read the, the letter A. What president signed the act creating the National Park Service in 1916? I have no idea, but luckily we can cheat here because it does have the answers here printed at the bottom. So if you did get this correct, then you get to keep this card. If you did not, then it goes here in a discard pile. Either way, it's the next player's turn. So after replacing the card, the next player will go. And the way that it basically works is whoever gets one of these cards from each category first, that's who wins the game. So, so much fun. I think everybody could enjoy this. I like this a lot. The company did send me this to try and hopefully this helps.